because the whole idea is how to build a hamburger bun menu for um, from for mobile, but not have to use any kind of JavaScript, jQuery, anything in order to trigger it. Well, I started thinking about it, and I was like, well, I can build I can build this as a button and float the um, so you do you know let me just open it up instead of trying to explain it here I'll just open it up and show you what I did with this button and uh, then we're going to use flex just like we did before so we got button text here I took out all the button text I made it that size text color black and the background I made transparent so there's no background on here at all so all you're going to see is that icon which is the icon before when we get into there so here we go icon picker this is the before this is the after and I said here float it to the left so we're gonna put in the FA bars which is what you're seeing on the screen there which is the hamburger bun and then we took out all the vertical spacing all the horizontal spacing all the borders the shadows we took out everything so that this thing is completely a hundred percent transparent and then I said well okay so if we click on this, and I should have left that open, if we click on this button, what do we want to happen? Well, we want these items to appear. And then when we click on that button again, we want them to disappear. Now, inside of jQuery, you can do a simple toggle, which will say toggle the stuff on and off. But again, I didn't want to use any kind of JavaScript. So what I did was I said well why don't I just put in a second button so that when I click on this button at the top let me go to our set actions when I set click on the button at the top it's going to show the second button and all of these headline elements so it's going to show the button and then the five he headline elements that I have and then what's it going to do is going to hide itself so the top button's going to hide. And then on the second button, it does exactly the opposite thing. When you click on the second button, it shows the top button and hides everything else. So that's the way I have this set up. And then all I have to do is I came in here, a little bit of CSS. Now, again, we're dealing with mobile. So on mobile, what I would do is say hide this element and this element. So hide the two buttons so that they only show on mobile. We don't want that on a desktop. We only want it on mobile. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to do our display flex again. Now, like I said, I don't have this totally working 100% yet. But if we say display flex, and then we're going to say let's do this. We're going to center this. So justify content to the center. So now it moves it over to the center. Or we could do, let's see here. We could flex start, which is what the default is, so it, that's why it didn't move. We could come down here and do flex end, so it goes all the way to the right-hand side, whereas flex start would put it all the way to the left-hand side. Or we can do, like we had done before, we can do space evenly. So it spaces it out like that. Well, I think probably in this case here, we're just going to say we want it to center on the page and now you're seeing it's a little tight together because it's just going to smoosh everything together if we don't have some sort of a spacing element in between and so all i did is i can said come in here and let's give it 20 20 left 20 right on the margin so that's what it did again we're identifying this again as the call inner for this element and in this case here i just said grab every div inside of it before we were dealing with um with icon elements here we were dealing with headline elements and button elements so i just said okay we'll just grab every div inside of there and then just give it a little bit of margin on either side you could also probably do padding in this case here but the most important part of this is i had to use a media query to say only do this if we are in desktop so it says, and min width 771, because a 770 is the breakpoint where it goes to a mobile device. So we don't want this happening on mobile, because on mobile, we want everything floated over to the left. We want the stuff hidden. We want the, 
the uh, two hamburger buns to open up. We want all that. So if I have everything set here right, and like I said, I'm, I was I know it's not working completely because I was having some issues with it. But what I want to do is kind of come in here, and we're going to hide these two hamburger buns so that they only show on on desktop only. I'm sorry, on mobile only. That's what we want them is on mobile only. And then we got to come back in here to desktop. And this one here, we'll click on it, and we'll make that mobile only. Okay, that one's mobile only as well. And now, let me think here. So this is the part I didn't get done yet, because I realistically, I have to hide these menu items. And so let's just see what we got here for right now, and let's see what it does. Let's click on this, save it. So here we have all of our items lined up nicely. Remember, we built them one on top of each other, just like we built these elements here. We built them all one on top of each other, but now because of flex, we're telling it to go sideways like that. So let's grab a hold of this. <clears throat> Excuse me, starting to lose the voice here. So we'll pull it over, and see, this was the other problem I had is that these lined up in the center for some reason. So what I really need to do is have this come in and so when it flips to this, it needs to hide the second button and all of these items right here. Okay, so now let me see here. If I click on this, okay, so that hid everything just like it should. Now if I click on that, it opens it and now it closes it. But so you have to set the initial thing to be correct and like again I need to figure out why that's there instead of over here okay so after the uh, live on Facebook the other day I decided to jump back in here and finish up this little hack and yeah, so where we left it off we had our hamburger bun right here in the middle and we were showing these items when we were in the mobile view so what I did is I came in and let's just look at the script we got here for it or I should say the CSS we have for it and it's all right down here at the bottom that I added in all this you saw before. What we're saying here is for mobile only. So this was for the desktop up here because we had a minimum width of 771. So 771 and wider screens would get this up here. And down here we have max width of 770. So any screens that are skinnier are smaller than 770 pixels wide, we'll see this content down here. So this will just be for mobile. And so what we're gonna say is let's grab all of the buttons that are in this row that we created up here. So we're just grabbing those two buttons and we're gonna say text align left and we needed the important tag in there to override whatever it had already been doing. And now that I think about it, I wonder if, let me just take a look at this real quick. Uh, let me go in here. And let's find one of those buttons in our mobile. Let's manage that. Here are our buttons. Let's just look at this one. Let's go to advanced, come down to the bottom. And I do have a button align left. But again, I don't know if that's being created by the CSS or not. So it could be that you just go in there and click on that and tell it to go left and that'll work just fine. And so either way, we got text align left. And then we say here on the column, so again, it's this it's this this row up here in the column call inner l headline wrapper and the reason why i'm being so specific here is because i don't want this happening to every headline wrapper on the page i just want it for this specific area right up here where we put in the menu and what we're going to say here is display none so when the page loads if we are in mobile view it will not display those until we tell them to turn it on by clicking on the hamburger button. So we will save this and we will reload this page right here. And first off, we'll start in desktop view and then I will skinny this down. And what we have here now is our hamburger bun button here to the left. And what I really should do is put the word menu after this. But one of the things I did is I put this here with an X. So that means close the menu. So we can go back and forth and close the menu. Now I don't have these links tied to anything at this point, but you get the idea that you just click it back and forth and that's how easy it can be to create a hamburger bun menu on mobile with absolutely no JavaScript, just a couple of lines of CSS. So as always, you got any questions, let me know.